we are going to announce something special in Humboldt during the summer, a way to, for the NHL and the NHLPA to help out the players and also help the community. And to introduce that, we'd like to, advi like to invite up to the stage from the NHL, the Director of Social Engagement, Andrew Ference, and from the NHLPA, one of the divisional representatives, Chris Campoli. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, Elliot. All right. So tell us about August 24th. Yeah, thanks, Elliot. Uh, well, we're excited. We, uh, you know, at the NHL, we had an outpouring of support from, from teams. And I know uh, talking almost daily with the NHLPA, the outpouring of players wanting to do something positive, um, you know, for, for the Humboldt community. So we've been working with, uh, directly with the Broncos uh, and the NHLPA and, and, and the players involved um, to hold an event on August 24th. Um, It'll be multifaceted. We have obviously a cup winner, recent, uh, recent cup winner, Shan uh, Chandler Stevenson, mm -hmm. who uh, unheard of, usually, you know, before you win the cup, you don't even say the word Stanley Cup, but he actually, at the start of playoffs, uh, um, you know, told a lot of people about how he wanted to take the cup to Humboldt uh, if he won. He's a, he's a Saskatoon native. And, uh, you know, so I, I was cheering for him, obviously, for that reason alone. And, and uh, lo and behold, he won, and, and Chandler's going to have a day in Humboldt with the Cup on August 24th, mm -hmm. which will go hand-in-hand hand with our event where we're going to have some NHL players come into the uh, town of Humboldt and, and have an on-ice component as well uh, with uh, the, uh, the Broncos players for, for next season. I know the Humboldt Broncos are mm -hmm. uh, organizing next year's season, so we hope to kick off a, a new year of Broncos hockey uh, with the NHL and NHLPA. I think it's going to be really crazy. I think the community of Humboldt needs that, honestly. They need that to come to them, and that's really nice of Chandler Stevenson. I know him personally, and he's a character guy. He's perfectly, a really, really great guy. And so kudos to cool. him and Brain Shen as well. Really, They're both great dudes, and really I'm really thankful that they're supporting Humble every way that they can. To know what they've gone through and to see them here in Vegas and, and to, to be taken in the event, I think it just speaks to, to how, how strong they all are, to you know, how, how amazing it is that they're able to be here. And I think for us players, it's, uh, it's special to be able to talk to them. And, and they're definitely just a, a, you know, a, a symbol of strength and, and uh, bravery. They're in really good spirits, which is amazing. Um, you know, you're just trying to keep it pretty casual. You don't want to get too heavy, but obviously, uh, you try to let them know how, you know how sad you are for them, and hopefully they're doing okay and being strong. I mean, it's uh, I can't relate to anything what they've been through, so obviously it's uh, pretty special. It's, it's very special. Uh, I was fortunate enough to, to be able to, to meet them here today and uh, their parents. So. Uh, just to, to see them here and, and what they've been through, it's uh, uh, it's good to see that they seem to be in a in a better place now. So that's uh, that was fun fun to see. A special group, and um, you know, it's uh, obviously it was a big deal in the hockey world, but I think it was a big deal not in the, just the sports world, but in the world in general. You know, um, very very touching and sad story and unfortunate. Um, but the fortunate thing is, is that you know we build communities stronger after things like that, and I think that. Uh, not only did they build their community to be stronger, but the hockey community and just us as people as well, you know, um, not taking anything for granted. And I think everybody held their loved ones a little closer after that incident. And I, it's important for them to understand that the inspiration that they provide with people runs really, really deep through the roots of any community. So not just hockey, um, but especially in sports. And I think, you know, people recognizing it in different sports across the world, it was pretty special. So to have them here, it's, it's definitely great for us, and I uh, can't wait for tomorrow night. I think we're all going to be Broncos forever, and I think uh, no matter what day it is, it's a great day to be a Bronco. So.